Dear friends, friends from United Nations Watch, dear Hillel, thank you very much. I'm deeply honored by this award that I could only accept as a recognition to the fight of the Cuban people, and specifically to the work of all of those who promote Cuba Decide, which is a citizen platform to change the system towards democracy in the island. To all its promoters, to the Cuban political prisoners, and especially to my father, Oswaldo Payá, and to my friend, Harold Cepero, who gave their lives so that the Cubans could regain their freedom, I would like to dedicate this award tonight. I have seen in first hand what a life without right does to an entire population. The profound mat material misery that one could see everywhere in Cuba nowadays has worsened it to the point that the population is on the verge of a humanitarian crisis again. But a deeper crisis relies on the level of the damage done by the communist regime to our social tissue to the hurt of the Cuban families. Deep into the 21st century, the so-called construction of the new man has no other justification in Cuba than a criminal ideological inertia in which not even the military repressors on the island believe anymore. The revolution that once fascinated Europe in the name of the international left is now an specter of a high high price paid by our people when the criminal regime occupies the whole of social life. Paradoxically, the revolution in Cuba means lack of fundamental freedoms and individual rights, with the use of force as a style of governance, which suppresses any manifestation of popular will, repressing every single sign of peaceful dissent killing dissidents, as my father, and punishing alternative ideas. Revolution in Cuba means to suffocate any hope of real economical opening, not to mention the censorship of Cuban cultural lives as expected in a country where the public sphere is co-opted by the government and every media is the private property of the Communist Party. Or to be specific, the property of the Castro family and its generals. But everyone in this room knows that these facts are not what is known about my country. That the lie about the Castro regime has been sold and bought over the suffering of a whole nation, and now more than just one nation. In fact, the tolerance that for decades have given the majority of the international community to the totalitarianism in my country has impeded the stability of the democracy in Latin America, has caused the destruction of the rule of law in Venezuela, and serious threats to the national security of several other states. That's why the significance of this award goes far beyond my person. Because UN WASH is an organization with the mission of washing that the United Nations fulfills its task to protect and enforce the universality of human rights. However, the High Commissioners of the Commissioner of Human Rights in UN so far has chosen to ignore the crimes against humanity that the Cuban regime perpetrates not just against Cubans, but also against Venezuelans and others in Latin America. So that this platform should serve to denounce that the Cuban regime cannot participate in the solution to the Venezuelan problem, as the current Canadian government suggested just recently. Because the Castros coordinate the regime of Nicolás Maduro, and they are the main beneficiaries of it, this platform should serve to denounce the shame of the European Union referring to the criminal organization in power in Cuba as a one-party democracy. 
This platform should serve to denounce the legitimacy of, the Cuban, of a Cuban constitution that seeks to perpetuate the regime, to denounce the legitimacy of the designated president of that regime, and the Communist Party leader, General Raul Castro, given that they have been never elected by the people of Cuba in free, fair, and multi-party elections, as indicated in the draft resolution proposed today by dozens, dozens of NGOs for the United Nations Human Rights Council, thanks to UN WASH. Together with, together with many good friends, I have dedicated the last year of my life to open the eyes of the good people in the international community, to gather their support and to make them act to work peacefully among Cubans to achieve democratic change by forcing the criminal regime to submit to the sovereign will of the citizenry. We work for the right of all Cubans to live according to their conscience and to be free and to seek happiness in their own country. And to be honest, I don't think that I deserve an award for trying so. But the Cuban people, the Cuban people deserve your helping hand. And definitely, the Cuban people deserve the solidarity of the world. God bless you all. Thank you so much.